Corporate Performance Measurement System Corporate performance measurement systems have grown in use. Firms adopt corporate performance measurement systems for a number of reasons. But the main reason is to improve control over the firm in ways that traditional accounting systems have not allowed. Several approaches or frameworks for building and managing corporate measurement systems have evolved with the balanced scorecard as the dominant framework in use today. Despite the growing use of corporate performance measurement systems in organizations of all kinds, significant problems cause firms to experience difficulty in implementing corporate performance measurement systems. This lesson discusses corporate performance measurement and control systems. It follows from the previous slide that after studying this lesson, you should be able to understand the different parameters of performance measurement, explain the importance of performance measurement, describe the different performance models. Corporate performance measurement and control systems are the formal information-based routines and procedures which managers use to maintain or alter patterns in organizational activities. A typical performance measurement helps businesses in periodically setting business goals and then providing feedback to managers on progress towards those goals. The time horizon for these goals can typically be about a year or less for short-term goals or span several years for long-term goals. Since a corporate performance measurement system measures performance, it is important to define what performance is. A measure is a quantitative value that can be used for purposes of comparison. A specific measure can be compared to itself over time, compared with a preset target or evaluated along with other measures. Since a measure is used for the purpose of comparison, it need not represent an absolute value. Objective measures can be independently measured, but subjective ones cannot. Measures are also typically classified as financial or non-financial. Financial measures are typically derived from or directly related to chart of accounts and found in a company's profit and loss statement or balance sheet, such as inventory levels or cash in hand. Non-financial measures are measures not found in the chart of accounts, such as customer satisfaction scores or product quality measures. Complete measures capture all the relevant attributes of achievement, whereas incomplete measures do not. Measures are also responsive or not responsive. Individuals can influence responsive measures, whereas non-responsive measures are outside the influence or control of an individual. Business performance measurement is very useful for business. The reason for which companies measure business performance are to monitor and control in the organization, to drive improvement, to maximize the effectiveness of the improvement effort, to achieve organizational goals and objectives, to reward and to discipline. Different frameworks and reference models for measuring business performance have evolved from a variety of origins. Frameworks are approaches to measurement that businesses frequently adopted often with significant diversity in the design and use. Reference models are more rigorous standards, typically around specific performance metrics and associated business processes adopted by an industry or by a common functional unit. Initially focused on finding a way to report on leading indicators of a business health rather than traditional accounting measures which are lagging indicators, the balanced code was refocused to measure the firm's strategy. Instead of measuring anything, firms should measure those things that directly relate to the firm's strategy. Normally, the balanced scorecard is broken down into four sections, namely financial perspective, customer perspective, internal business perspective, and learning and growth perspective. Economic value added, or EVA, is a financial performance metric that is most directly linked to the creation of shareholder value over time. EVA is net operating profit less than appropriate charge for the opportunity cost of all capital invested in an enterprise. Mathematically it is EVA equals to net operating profit after taxes minus capital into cost of capital. Activity-based costing ABC was developed 
to provide better insight into how overhead costs should be allocated to individual products or customers. Typically, businesses make simple adjustments to allocate overhead costs that do not accurately model how the product or cost consumes those overhead activities. ABC links expenses related to resources supplied to the company to the activities performed within the company. Over the past few decades, many firms have adopted various quality programs such as Total Quality Management, Six Sigma, European Foundation Quality Management, and the Baldridge National Quality Program to improve the quality of manufacturing and service offerings. A central tenant for all of these programs is business performance measurement. The Supply Chain Council and the Product Development and Management Association are developing reference models for business processes, which also include specific performance measurements. Just a few BPM reference models exist. Most likely, this is due to popularity of the balanced scorecard as a strategic measurement tool and the various quality programs that have become integrated business performance measurement systems more closely supporting the business strategy. Since strategies are often highly differentiated, BPM systems that support the strategy become highly differentiated and propriety as well including specific sequences of metrics. Hence, reuse on specific metrics and arrangement of metrics is less likely to occur in these strategically aligned frameworks. A reference model is more likely to cover non-core processes that are highly consistent and diffuse across many companies such as new product development and supply chain management. While many practitioners may desire reference models to ease the initial design and implementation of a BPM, they do not address how to construct a BPM system that is tightly integrated with a differentiated corporate performance measurement system. Reflect stakeholder requirements to maximize their satisfaction. Reflect the external or competitive position of an organization. Focus on competitive criteria of the organization's market in order to facilitate strategies and actions to improve the organization's competitive position. Provide an input into strategy development. To help ensure alignment of strategy actions and measures. Differentiate between control and improvement measures. Focus on critical areas of the business. Use locally meaningful terminology to encourage understanding and ownership. Facilitate resource bargaining. Promote proactive measurement by focusing on leading measures. Accommodate both quantitative and qualitative measures. Measure organizational capability and learning. Ensure that measures are used at the correct levels. Promote understanding of the casual relationships between various measures. Facilitate simple reporting. Be dynamic and change in response to the internal and external environments. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Corporate performance measurement system reflect stakeholder requirements to maximize their needs. Right or wrong? Wrong. EVA is net operating profit less than appropriate charge for the opportunity cost of all capital invested in an enterprise. Right or wrong? Right. ABC links expenses related to resources supplied to the company to the activities performed within the company. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Corporate performance measurement systems capture and disseminate strategic information that matters most to the firm in the form of strategic process and outcome measurement and most to the individuals within the firm in the form of performance measurement, incentives, and motivation. Because of this, corporate performance measurement systems are a primary means of knowing and doing. Over time, they may perhaps become the single most strategic information system resource in the firm. Technological advances in data processing and integration, application deployment via the web, and in analysis and visualization have helped corporate performance measurement systems advance significantly. However, the best may be yet to come. 
While adoption rates of corporate performance measurement systems are high in larger companies, actual success in larger firms is more limited and adoption in smaller firms is embryonic.